We're on top of developing news this morning on the tent situation along the Ukrainian border. So the state, the U.S. State Department has ordered families of U.S. Embassy employees in Kiev to leave because Russia's military could attack. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones joins us live now from the newsroom. She has been closely monitoring the situations for us since the weekend. So where are we at right now, Marcy? Good morning, Nicole and Wendell. Well, it's still a very uncertain situation, and it's unfolding before our eyes. Will Russia further invade Ukraine? That, of course, is the most pressing question, as more than 127,000 Russian troops build at the Ukrainian border. Vladimir Putin's goal is to keep Ukraine from making common cause with the democracies of Europe. Russia has already organized enough firepower to attack Ukraine with little to no warning. But many say from a military perspective, it makes more sense for an invasion to happen in February, when the ground is frozen, making it more favorable for tank traction. U.S. officials have issued warnings that an invasion could be imminent. In the meantime, the U.S. has been sending weapons to Ukraine to add support and efforting to get some Americans out of the country. Certain wires have been tripped because all embassies abroad have a plan that lays out precisely what it is that has to happen before these evacuations occur. Now, the assessment has come in that more things have happened, we're not exactly sure what those are yet, uh, that have caused the State Department to say, yeah, families need to get out. The White House released a statement in part saying President Biden again affirmed that should Russia further invade Ukraine, the U.S. will impose swift and severe consequences on Russia with our allies and partners. 